just working on a, a particularly ugly problem with a, a student and I thought I would upload a solution so everyone could see this. Uh, we have to write an equation of a parabola and vertex form that passes through three given points. We first, we tried graphing it first and it was like, eh, it doesn't really buy us anything. We tried to make a table, look for a pattern, blah, blah, blah. We were like, oh man, we're gonna have to come up with a system of three equations with three unknowns, right? Because our standard quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. Three things we don't know. We have three points. We can plug in these x and y values into the standard form and end up with three equations with three unknowns and then solve a system. So we're going to go that route. So I already started to write it here. You can see that the y value is negative 7. Boom. The x value is negative 6. Bang, bang. We just plugged it in. This is equation 1. Equation two, I plug in this point. This is the Y, these are the X's. Simplified, that's 121A. I know it looks like an absolute value, don't judge me. And then equation three, we just plugged in these for the X and Y into your standard form quadratic. Bang, there's a third equation. Now, uh, three equations, three unknowns. There's different ways to do this. Um, elimination is my fave. And luckily, these C's are all just one C. So we could subtract equations from each other. The C's will drop out. We'll have a system of two equations, which is a little easier. Anyway, let's do uh, equation two minus equation three. So let's put this here. And we're going to subtract equations. Let me get a pen. This color. Okay, um, we're subtracting equation 2 minus equation 3. So negative 2 minus 1, that's negative 3. Equal sign, 121A minus 64A, that's 57A. Negative 11B minus a negative, that means plus 8B which will take us up to negative 3b. C minus C is no C. So boom, here's an equation with just two variables. Um, we'll use this in just a mo. Let's do a similar thing. We'll do equation three minus equation one. So let me, I'll just rewrite it. Negative seven equals 36a minus 6b plus c. We're going to subtract. Let me go green. So that equation minus that equation. 1 minus negative 7 is positive 8. Equal sign 64a minus 36a is 28a. Negative 8 minus a negative means plus 6b. So that'll take us to negative 2b, c minus c, no c. Boom, now we have a system of two variables, two equations, two unknowns. Let's take it over here to board number two. These are two new equations to do elimination method on this. Uh, these don't line up. These don't quite line up. So I'm going to take this equation number five, let's call it, and multiply it by negative three over two. Because this 2 will cancel with this 2, and then negative 3 times negative b will be a positive 3. This Multiplying by this will turn this into a 3b. Then I can add these two equations, and the 3b's will drop out. That's my game plan. So I took this, multiplied by negative 3 over 2. Bang, here's a new equation. This is the same equation. I'm going to do this equation plus this equation, negative 3 plus negative 12 is negative 15 equals 57a plus negative 42a. How about that? It's 15a. Hmm. Negative 3b plus 3b cancels. There we go. And now we just, well, you can see you divide both sides by 15. And you don't got to be a crystal ball reader to know that a equals negative 1. Gravy. Now let's plug this into something. I don't know. Let's plug it into this. Let me switch up 
switch up the colors here. Yeah, let's go this way. So 8 equals 28 times negative 1 minus 2b. So negative 28, we're just going to add 28 to both sides of the equation. Bang, this is 36 is equal to negative 2b. Divide both sides by negative 2. I'm trying to keep this short. So b equals negative 18. All right, and so now we need to plug these in to one of our original equations that contains a c so that we can solve for c. So negative 7 equals 36a is negative 1 minus 6 times b is negative 18 plus c. So uh, negative 7, let me do it over here. Negative 7 equals negative 36 plus 108 plus c. Let's add 36 to both sides. We'll subtract 108 from both sides. Ooh. Lo and behold, C equals negative 79. Ugh. Let me use a different color. C equals negative 79. Cool, so now we have the standard form of the equation here. Y equals negative X squared minus 18X minus 79. Now we gotta get it in vertex form and everyone will be happy. So, um, what are we gonna do? Uh, I see a bunch of negatives. I'm gonna divide both sides by a negative. Negative Y equals X squared plus 18X plus 79. Makes me feel better about myself. Um, and then negative y equals, uh, in order for this to be a perfect square, this needs to be x squared plus 18x. Well, here's what we do to complete the square. You add b over 2 squared, right? B. So this is b, 18 divided by 2 is 9, squared is 81. We really wish this was equal to 81. To make it happen, we can add two to both sides. How you like them apples? So, um, well, I should write it like this: uh, negative y plus two equals uh, x squared plus eighteen x plus eighty one, uh, which is like saying x plus nine squared. Um, I want to move this stuff back over, so I'm going to subtract two over here. That equals negative y. I want to multiply by negative 1 on both sides. y equals negative x plus 9 squared plus 2. Whoa. Done, son.